Hey everybody, welcome to MKM Precision. I'm here with Keith Baker. We're here at day one, Vortex Vengeance. Keith's gonna go through stage 17, the KI Killer Tires. On this stage, Keith's gonna shoot with all gear in hand, or start with all gear in hand, magazine in and bolt back at the stage sign. On the command, the shooter will move into any left tire position and engage the targets at the 600 yard rack from big to small with one round each. The shooter will repeat this sequence from any unused remaining positions on the left. The shooter will then transition to any right tire position and engage the targets at the 900 yard rack from big to small with one round each. The shooter will repeat the same sequence from any other unused position on the right hand side. All right guys, let's see what the baker's got cooking. I'm sure he's got an awesome recipe for success. All right, this is stage 17. We're gonna engage a 600 yard rack here from three positions. Then we're gonna move and engage a 900 yard rack from two others. First thing I do when I approach a stage is after I'm asked if uh, I'm ready, I go ahead and move my chamber flag. I physically look at my magazine to make sure it's full. I insert my magazine. That way I know I have a full mag going into this and I didn't forget to load my mag. Next thing I do is I go through and make sure my windage isn't set from before incorrectly. So I make sure that's set on zero or wherever I want it to be. I then look at my data. I have my mark for my first, which I marked on my turret right there. Then I verify that my second mark is on there as well. So now I know my data is right and my first or nearest target's dialed and my level's on. I'm ready to go. Hold my rifle up. Make sure I got my bag ready. I rehearse everything step by step. I look at my position, look at the target so I know where I'm gonna build my first position. I take a moment, I visualize myself shooting all three stage steps on this. Then what I'm gonna do when I transition to the other set of tires. Once I have all that in my mind, I kind of take a pause, visualize the target, and then I'm ready to start. I start, I take nice, smooth, efficient steps forward, always keeping my eye on the target, not necessarily on the prop. I'll drop my eyes on the prop, make sure I'm putting things where I want it. Again, I look directly back at the target. So as I drop down on my rifle, I touch my chin to my buttstock, I look over my turret and I make sure that the target is directly over top of my turret. This way I've already started my target acquisition. I drop directly down, drop my cheek on, and my target should be right there which I'm just about, looks like I gotta come right about a mil to be on target, perfect. Now I'm directly on target, I take just a second pause, I look for wind, what do I see for wind out there? Right now I see minimal mirage, a little bit of right to left, so I'm gonna go ahead and close the bolt. So I look, make sure there's no mirage, I go ahead and close my bolt. Got a little right to left, I'm gonna hold right, two tenths and send it. I hit right of center on that plate. I probably could have dropped to zero wind. I make the transition to my next target, close the bolt, make sure my level's good, my light's green, make a nice squeeze. Impact center of the plate, hit it about a quarter inch right of center. Open my bolt. I'm gonna drop my bipod at this point. I used a bipod for the first position so I could get a good read on the plate. I go to my second position. Because it's a 12 round stage, I need to be efficient. So I just want to move in a steady flow across and I'm not going to mess with a bipod going up and down to multiple positions. Now that I have a good wind hold, again, bring my chin to the buttstock, drop down, make sure I'm on target, give it a little shake, I'm good there. Close my bolt, get my rifle good and level, my bag a touch of a squeeze. Execute a good trigger pull, dead center, just about a quarter inch high center. Settle my bag. I'm gonna do the same wind hold. Nice pull, hit just right of center. Run the bolt back, go to my next position. Drop down again, come back in, touch my chin on the buttstock, look over the target. Target's right in frame, just where I want it to be. Run my bolt, adjust the can of my rifle, give it a good squeeze, good center, just slightly high center. Move to the six or the second smaller target, do the same thing. 
just off the edge. So now I'm gonna dial for my 925 or 950 yard target. I pick my bag and the rifle up together, drop into the next position, give it a shake down, again, touch, drop down in, take a second, look for Mirage. I'm gonna hold two tenths left right now. I see a little bit of left to right. Hit the left side of the plate. I'm gonna cut that wind hole back. Just off the left edge. I'm gonna to go to zero wind for my third target. Center. Move to my next position. Come back, I'm gonna reapply that wind from the last, give it a little shake down, touch my chin, drop down. I'm gonna hold the same hold as I did on the small. Off the right edge, back to the two tenths I initially thought I needed. Hit the left edge of the plate with two. We're gonna to go to one and a half. Just underneath it. Move my magazine before I do anything. Take my magazine, put it in my mag pouch, insert my chamber flag. At this point, my rifle's safe and I pick up my brass and write down my score and what I did wrong and what I did right. Mostly what I did right. Stay tuned to the Precision Rifle series on social media so you can catch the next pro tip and we'll see you at a match. Thanks, brother.